Assalamu alaikum, Ms. Fatma is speaking. I hope you are okay and in good health. Today, inshallah, we'll discuss about technical translation. Okay, what do we mean by technical language? Technical language means the language of science and technology. For example, physics, chemistry, biology, medicine, engineering, and the like. Okay, characteristics of technical language and the problems encountered, encountered in translating it as follows. Yes, the first characteristic of technical English is that each specialized branch of knowledge, including scientific and technological disciplines, has its own jargon or special terms that are exclusively used in that branch. Some of these terms may be common words, okay? These words used in everyday life with a general meaning, with a general meaning familiar to most people. But where used in technical text, they may have special meanings and this might create a challenge to the translator who should guard against taking their meanings at face value. For example, okay, forest, power, strength, capacity, engine rating, fine power. Okay, another characteristic of technical text is that the typical technical source text isn't easily accessible to most native source language speakers. Okay, isn't easily accessible. Yes. Let alone to those who have learned the source language as a foreign language. Yes, we have three reasons, okay, uh, for this relative inaccessibility. One of these reasons are uh, is lexical and the other two are conceptual. The first lexical, re the first one is lexical reason is the specialized use of technical vocabulary and this creates three types of problems. The first one, there is a voice, <clears throat> yes, there is a voice problem of terms which aren't used in every day, in every day ordinary language which is unfamiliar to translator. For example, yes, <clears throat> electric deflagration, الاحتراق السريع بالتأثير الكهربائي. Okay. Casometric analysis, التحليل الكمي للغازات. Bare vibration, has has it al kharasana dahiliyan likad mijiha and permute process tariqit al permuted litaisir al ma al asir. The second problem terms whose ordinary everyday uses are familiar to the translator but which are manifestly used in some other technically specialized way in the source text. This means that uh, is the, yes, this means that in a familiar senses of the terms don't tell the translator to understand their technical senses. Uh, for conceptual reason, the first type of a problem is caused by failure to understand underlying supposition 
and knowledge taken for granted by experts in a science, but not understand by non-specialists and not explicit in the source text. Yes. And the third conceptual problem is in translating the development of new ideas. What one might call the logic of a discipline, methods of argumentation, the development of relations between concepts is normally specific to that discipline. Okay, a third the characteristic of technical language is a grammatical. Yes, the third characteristic of technical is grammatical. For example, the dominant use of the passive, the third person, empty verbs, present tenses, normalization. But these don't seem to constitute a special problem for the translator since they are used in most other types of specialized language, not strictly called technical or technological. Okay. Newmark suggests the following three styles levels. Okay. These Okay, three, okay, suggest now, okay, three style levels, selecting, okay, his examples from medical vocabulary. The first level, okay, is academic. This level includes transferred or borrowed Greek and Latin words related to academic papers. For example, yes, for example, <clears throat> Philigmesia Alpa Dolins, Iltihab Al Warid Al Fahdi. The second level is a professional, formal terms used by experts okay for example para parataitis iltihab al ghudda and nakfiya okay sacra sacra latina scar latina scar latina sorry scar latina al humma al qurmuziya Thickness, al kazaz or taqallus al fak. Yes. The third level is popular. Okay. This vocab may include familiar alternative terms. For example, mums. Okay. Mums and nukaf. Chicken pox. Jadari al ma. Scarlet. Fever, al humma al qurmuziya. Okay. Struck, sakta dimagiya. Look, jo, kzaz al fak. Okay. Translation, translation method. Translation method. Okay, in this section, inshallah. Yes, translation method. In this section, inshallah, we will discuss. Uh, sorry, yeah, yeah uh, translation method. In this, okay, uh, section, we will deal in some detail with the different techniques recommended for translating 
technical terms and text uh, here inshallah we will give some general idea about the importance of very meticulous treatment of strictly technical terms and text also we um, uh, we will make some suggestions to students of translation planning to work in this field after graduation. Uh, the best qualification for a translator who intends to work in a certain specific technical field would be a degree in that particular field and a good qualification in the foreign language, okay? Uh, from which he uh, will be mainly translating. Uh, I think this is not always attainable and doesn't apply to you as students of this course. Uh, so, uh, what makes uh, this difficult uh, is uh, technical text uh, tend to be innovative. Uh, this means that dictionaries and other source uh, like books and references uh, must always lag slightly behind the most up-to-date use of technical terms. And I think that there are often alternative terms used in different source materials and in different Arab countries. Um, and the translator has to choose between these alternatives. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh, you need okay more and more practice if you want to master technical uh, yes to master uh, technical translation skills uh, inshallah in this part I'll give you okay pieces of advice uh, okay the, the okay yes the first one is when you translate a text you have to be able to stand back and understand roughly what is happening in real life, okay? And uh, convincing yourself that, yeah? And convincing yourself that the sentence you have just translated makes sense linguistically, okay? It's very important, okay? Uh, it's very important Okay, when you translate a text, and it's very important to identify what is happening in real life and convincing yourself that the sentence you have just translated makes sense linguistically. Uh, to translate a text, you don't have to be an expert in its technology or uh, its topic. Uh, but it's very necessary to understand that text and know the vocabulary it uses. Okay, so it's very important to practice more and more in this K part. Uh, okay, the second advice, okay, is in science, the language is concept-centered. But in technology, it is object-centered. So if you are dealing with a text on, produ on production engineering, at first you have to learn the basic vocabulary. For example, lev makhrata, clutch qabid, wasil, clamp mashpak, masik, palt, burghi, mzlaj, Mel, Makta, Tafriz, Shaft, Shaft, Amud al Idara, okay, Crank, Dira, Tadwir, Kam, Kama, or Hadabit, Tahwil, Il Harakin.
Yes. Uh, and I think. Yes. Okay. Tab. What do you mean by cam rotate? Cam rotates. Okay, cam rotates. What do you mean by cam rotates? Here, okay, as okay, individual, okay, uh, vocab. But when I say cam rotate, cam rotates. Here, the cam تدور أو تلف. Okay, so if you have uh, obtained a clear idea, okay, uh, of outline, composition, function, and result. And uh, learn the action verbs with which those items. For example, cam rotates. Al cam tadur aw talif. Okay? Yes. And, uh, yes. Uh, before translating, the third advice is that before translating a text, you should read it through underlying. A, underlying all words and the structures that appear to contain problems. This may include unfamiliar, transparent words with Greek or Latin morphemes such as photo multiplier, mudaif, dui, electroni. Sent letter counter, addad el wamdat fil ayunat al musha'a. Yes, photo cathode, cathode dolly. And you can then translate sentence by sentence, making <clears throat> grammatical shifts to form natural language in the text. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. In this part, translation method, I'll give you some exercises to apply these steps and to pay attention to these advices is very important while you are translating from English to Arabic or Arabic to English okay in different uh, topics okay science and mainly in science and uh, technology uh, to follow these steps and advices okay this time to just to assess, okay, to what extent you understand from this lecture, try to answer these following questions. Okay, the first one, mention at least in a two characteristics of technological English, uh, of a uh, technical or technological, yes, English. Give two reasons why technical language is relatively inaccessible to ordinary people. Uh, why is why is it difficult for a translator with no scientific technical background to deal with technical terms and text? What is the last one is what is the advice given to such translators? Okay, wishing you all the best success in both lives. Bye bye.